Hi everybody, here yeah, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yeah, ignore the mess behind me. It is now my son's turn to do dishes. I did mine. Now he just needs to get around again get, getting the, mine put away and getting his washed. And it is now his turn because I did the dishes yesterday. You might not be able to believe it, but this was all clean yesterday. Can I point my finger? Yeah, all that. <laughs> that. Yeah, we, I did it. I finally got it. We are doing an Aldi's haul. Yes, that is what we're here to do today. And I just went to Walmart. I went to Aldi's. I went to lunch with my mom. We celebrated my birthday. And my, my stepfather's birthday is actually the day after mine. So we kind of just killed two birds with one stone and had lunch and celebrated mine and my stepfather's at the same time. And we had we went and had Chinese, it was delicious. But after we went and had lunch, um, I brought Anthony home and me and my friend Holly, Holly was watching Josie for me. So then me and my friend Holly went to Walmart and we went to Aldi's and now I'm home and I'm doing a haul of what I bought. <laughs> that was, that's been my day. Yes, it's been, it's been a busy day. So we're just going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you what I bought. First thing I got was a gallon of milk and I get home, I look in the fr fridge and we didn't need milk, but I wasn't sure I wanted to get, you know, better to be safe than sorry. So it's, it's just going to be a, you know, trying to find room for it kind of thing. I will find room for it. Yes, I will. Okay. I got some hamburger rolls. I bought these for Josie. I bought some deli meat, some ham and cheese. And she will eat ham and cheese sandwiches, not on bread. She will eat them on hamburger rolls. And we are having those for dinner tonight. And so I had to get her some hamburger rolls so that she can eat with us. I was supposed to buy chips and I totally forgot. Because we were going to have chips with our sandwiches. Oh, well. Oh, well. And I got two more bags of the oyster crackers. Yeah, these, um... I think it was Wendy who asked me what oyster crackers were, and they're pretty much just really bland little crackers that you like put in your chili and stuff, and it just it gives your chili like a crunchy texture and stuff, and it just, I mean, in my opinion, it makes it taste better. Yes, it does. And then also I bought some eggs. Yeah, this bag I've recycled it quite a few times. So now it's going to go in the garbage, but I forgot to grab a garbage bag again. So I'm just going to throw it on the floor for now. Once I finish this video, I will grab a garbage bag. I bought me some of the bananas. And as you all know, I like me the green bananas because I like to have them ripen at my house. Because I do not like an overripe banana. When I eat the bananas, they will still be partially green. Because I just like them very, very fresh. That is how I will eat them. Now I threw all, my, all these bags into this bag. So I'm just going to throw it over there for now. And I'm going to take a nibble if I can find it. Here, buddy. I'm going to take a nibble. Okay. I got me a head of lettuce, and I don't have any, um, I feel like I have a hair in my mouth, probably a jelly bean hair. I don't have any plans for the lettuce, but I also, I always like to have some on hand in case I decide to, um, yeah, that yeah, stuff stuck to my teeth. In case I, you know, make tacos or something, or if I just want to have a tossed salad, I always like to have some on hand. And I got another thing, a peanut butter. I like to have like um, peanut butter on crackers at night. Yeah, Josie's out there making her presence known. Um, my nephew Ryan likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And so does my daughter. Me too sometimes. My daughter also likes peanut butter on crackers for a snack. And so we were getting low and so I bought some more. Yes, I did. We needed to get some more spreadable butter. We don't use margarine in the house anymore. I buy spreadable butter and also um, sticks for baking, um, for cooking, because um, 
margarine is just not good for you because it's like one one molecule away from you know plastic or something like that i'm like yeah i don't i don't want none of that in my house so i'm just gonna fix my necklace there we go that's better and i bought some sauce mainly just to stock up on it because i like to keep it stocked up so if i ever decide to make poor man spaghetti which is basically just spaghetti with um sauce and um hamburger to, that's what we call poor man spaghetti regular spaghetti in my house is my homemade spaghetti sauce so when i'm feeling lazy i don't want to go through all the steps of making my homemade spaghetti sauce we have poor man spaghetti plus i like to have it on hand if we have goulash or you know whatever reason we might need it meatballs not yeah meatball subs that kind of stuff And I got some more of the whipping cream. Um, I get this mainly um, to put on cocoa. When we have a cup of hot cocoa, we like to put some whipped cream on top of it. And I bought a whole bunch of the green beans because that's, um, in this house, we like corn, which we don't have very often because of the starch in it. But we do love our green beans and we love our broccoli. And that's pretty much the only vegetables you will find in this house. And I was running, I was running low on the green beans, so I stocked up on some. I believe I picked up six cans of it. Oh, and I also got Anthony his chili. As I've told you, he likes to have his chili um, for lunches and for, you know, the nights we to do a grab and growl, which is pretty much, you know, fun for yourself. And so I got him his chili. I believe I bought six cans of it as well, so... We shall see as I take them out of the bag. Picking the bag up so I don't have to bend over. And once I get the video done, Anthony will come down and take care of the, you know, non-perishables. That is his job. My job is to do the, um, the cold stuff, the frozen stuff, that kind of stuff. Get it put away and so. We share the responsibility. Yes. Okay. I bought some of it's wet. Hopefully it's wet just because some snow got on it or ice. But it felt wet. But yeah, I bought some of these mainly because I like to keep them on hand. For if I make tacos or if I make quesadillas, Josie likes quesadillas, so sometimes I'll make her those for dinner. So I like to keep them on hand just, you know, for that, those sort of things. And just put some of the stuff back into the bag that needs to go in the fridge and the freezer just to make room on my table for some of the other stuff that I did buy. Because my table is getting full. Yes, it is. I gotta be careful with those eggs. I don't get them broken. And I'm also trying to find my cereal bar. <laughs> what did I do with you cereal bar? What did... Oh, there it be. It was hiding on me. Now, if you notice me looking out the window, I'm keeping an eye out for Ryan. He ran to Walmart to pick up some rock salt. And so when he gets home, I'm going to have to stop the video. That's why I'm also kind of trying to rush. I'm going to talk at him out in a minute because he's going to be coming home any minute. And then when he gets home, I'm going to have to shut the camera off. And I'm trying to finish it before he gets here. So let's continue on. And I bought some pepper jack cheese because I plan on making Philly cheesesteaks. Maybe uh, when I make them, I will turn on the camera. It's a very simple recipe and um show you how to to make the way make, da, 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 da. make them the way that i make them <laughs> yeah i got it out i had to spit it out and i got some hot dogs mainly just as a quick dinner one um one night we um we don't eat both packages of them so i bought enough for two dinners and you know they're cheap they're easy and that's the main reason i bought them yes it is and i'm gonna throw them into this bag that I've been filling with the cold stuff. Yeah, I bought another thing of baby carrots. 
This is actually the third bag I bought of them because they keep expiring on me before I've gotten around to using them to make my roast beef. And luckily they're not too expensive. They're like $1.29 or something. So I thought it would be, I wasn't sure what the expiration date was on the baby carrots that are in the fridge. So I thought, well, I'm there, they're, they're there, so I might as well just pick up another bag of them. I really need to get around to making that roast beef. Yes, I do, because it's been sitting in there now for at least a month or two, maybe three. So I just haven't gotten around to making it. And I picked Josie up two boxes of her fruit snacks. You know how much she loves her fruit snacks. And, um... They, she likes the, this brand here, the Dinosaur brand, and she also likes the Great Value, the Smiles. So I wasn't sure, should I buy them, should I buy her these, or should I buy her the ones at Walmart? And since I went to all these first, I was like, eh, I might as well just go ahead and pick her up these ones. And so that's what I did. And I picked her up two boxes, so they'll last her a while. Yeah, they will. And I got Anthony some more of his hot sauce. I wasn't sure how much he had left. And since I was there and it was there, I decided, eh, I might as well go ahead and pick some up. And so that's what I did. I picked them up three of them. Better to um, have too many than not enough. That is my motto. And I also picked Josie up her pudding, mainly for her um, taking her pills. She prefers the vanilla pudding over the chocolate, I found out. So I picked her up four vanilla puddings. Yeah, she doesn't care if it's a name brand like Snack Pack or whatever whatever they're called. Or if it's, you know, all these brand to her, Pudding's Pudding. So I decided, you know, while I'm there, I was originally going to buy the, you know, the name brand at Walmart. I was like, what's the point? But, you know, I must have like 10 of them already in the fridge. I'm just stocking up on them because I don't want to run out. I'm supposed to be getting some bad weather this week, so this is that's the reason why I've been bu um, buying a lot of stuff, just to stock up so that I don't have to worry about nothing. Maybe just staples, you know, like milk, but I don't think I'm going to be running out of milk either. <laughs> or, you know, maybe bread. I might run out of bread. But, you know, this way, you know, the house is stocked for the week and we won't have to worry about going out when the weather gets even worse. And I got a... Th 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 Sirloin tip steak. This is for the Philly cheesesteaks. And you pretty much just slice it as, you know, as thin as you can get it. So, and also, you know, you, you bang the heck out of it to tenderize it and stuff. And so that's pretty much what that is. It's just for the Philly cheesesteaks. And I got some heavy cream. I plan on making my chicken alfredo. I did do a recipe on that. I'll come cook with me. For anybody interested and wanting to go check it out, it's, I think it's like from, t maybe, uh, from the beginning of the year, maybe. Like, it was, it's been a while since I did the come cook with me. I haven't done a come cook with me in a while. But yeah, I did do my chicken alfredo recipe for anybody that wants to go check it out. And I got some sticks of butter because I was getting low. And I got some, you know, chicken cordon bleu. Anthony likes to eat these for, you know, lunches or even a dinner. I don't like them. Josie won't eat them. And I totally forgot about the key one again. I think it was Vanessa that suggested that to me. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I totally forgot about that again. I don't think they had it because I remember only seeing two kinds that they had there. And I believe the second one was the broccoli one, which I tried before and I didn't care for it, even though I love broccoli. But, yeah, Anthony loves the chicken cordon blues. So those are, um, well, so does Ryan, so they can both eat them. So, so I picked up four of them because they are only a dollar each. And they're not bad for, you know, the price you pay for them. And then, of course, for Josie, I got her, her hash browns, 
because she loves her hash browns. I usually make this with her chicken. So I always keep, you know, extra on hand. If I'm at the store, if I'm at Walmart, if I'm at Aldi's, I always pick up, you know, all, uh, Walmart has like the half ones of them. So when I'm at Walmart, I buy two of them. And when I'm at Aldi's, I buy the big one. And so, you know, she'll have that with her dinner. If she has like um, her chicken, you know, that requires a side dish. She'll either have this or I'll make her up a package of her macaroni and cheese. But yeah, she really loves her hash browns. <coughs> <clears throat> but I think that is it. I think I finished before Ryan got back. Let me do a quick sweep of the floor around me. And I'm looking. Oh, I forgot this bag full of cans. Sippy, sippy. Hmm. I'm going to throw these uh, in this bag. I'm trying to be careful because I have the eggs in there as well. I'm going to throw this uh, heavy cream in there. Okay. Trying to make room for these cans I bought. And this is just more of the um, the French style green beans and the chili I got for for Anthony. And in my opinion, if you've never had all these brand chili and it's Brookdale original chili, then you really need to buy a can just to try it because I highly recommend it because it is delicious. And yes, I know I'm on the edge of the camera. Let me move over a little bit. There we go. Now I'm back in the center. It's more chili. Chili. And of the green beans. How many green beans did I buy? One, two. I see only four cans. I could have swore I bought six cans of the green beans, but they could be hidden behind there somewhere. I don't know. But I think now, I believe, I believe that's it now. I think I got everything. And Ryan, he like I told you, he's on his way to Walmart. Either I told you in the Walmart haul or I told you in this haul. I don't remember because I just filmed them back to back. But he's on his way to get the rock salt. So, you know, um, yeah, I should have included that in the Walmart haul. I told you that he's on his way to get the rock salt. My hip, I was getting like shooting pains in my hip and I didn't want to irritate it any more than what it was and so I was like I'm not even going to touch the rock sock because they're like 25 pounds a bag I was like nope I was like Ryan can run up there and get that because <laughs> I had to get all this other stuff by myself I was like no I'll let him do that so he went up there to get that it's like you don't have to get it right now you can wait till tomorrow or later tonight or whenever you want to we still have some he's like no I want to get it get it get it out of the way and so we don't have to worry about it I'm like okay that be up to you. So he went He went up to Walmart to pick that up. But anyways, that is it. So don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here you'll see my little picture, so click on it. Click on it if you haven't subscribed yet, because I post new videos almost every day. Jazz hands. But until next time, bye.